But of all the filth that infests this great nation, none are as stomach-churning. I can't stand rats. I think they're absolutely disgusting. And cringe-inducing. Oh, God, look at that. That is unbelievable. As disease-carrying infestations. Sure is giving me the heebie-jeebies. And two men who know more about it than most. I'd say there's thousands of cockroaches in here. Maybe more. Our Stourbridge pest controllers, Chris. Ready to go and investigate. Mark. See you later, Mr. Rat. And their sidekick, Pino, the dog. Up. Good girl. And again. And again. Good girl. Chris has been running the business for ten years, and Mark has been with him for just over three. Together, this fearless trio battle filthy infestations of all kinds. We have seen some stuff over the years, though, haven't we? Every type of pest in the UK, I think, we've, we've dealt with it. So you got rats, mice. Yeah. yeah. But mice isn't just mice anymore. Well, no, now you've got field mice, house mice. Yeah, so I've, got... I've even been out to a job where we had shrews. Yeah. That was an interesting one. Yeah, so you've got, you've got squirrels, moles, wasps, bees. Spiders as well. Everyone was getting paranoid about... Uh, false widows. False widow spiders, yeah. Yeah. Had a few calls about those. The cluster flies with it. Yeah, they're on the increase every year, aren't they? Yeah. I even had a pet chinchilla the once. Really? A police officer called us out, yeah. And it, he was absolutely petrified. Mind you, I'm terrified of wasps. It's hilarious in wasp season seeing me screaming like a girl. Yes, yes, I do look forward to the wasp season. Luckily for the lads, it's not yet wasp season. However, today, they're facing one of the toughest assignments ever. There's been a lot of activity underneath there, though. A gang of rowdy rodents are giving Chris the runaround. The funny thing about this job, the thing that makes me laugh a lot, is this ongoing six-week mouse job. I can't believe we can't catch one so far. <laughs> He's actually Chris's house. Uh, and it's keeping him awake at night every night, um, which I find hilarious. So Chris needs to get his house in order. It looks like our little plan is coming to fruition. Uh -huh. Because all those oats that we put there, just free, they are pretty much all disappeared. Last night, it sounded like they were having a rave down there. They were squeaking. Well, they've got all the UV. <laughs> well, why weren't they going no traps? Is it just because it's my house? Is this a sweet revenge? It is, it is revenge. With an underground mouse party in full swing, Chris is desperate to call time on it. But first, he needs to know what type of mouse he's dealing with. And that means catching one. So let's have a... Look Definite like trials going down there. It look. does look like they're coming through from next door, doesn't it? The UV powder illuminates the routes the mice are using. Looking at all those footprints down there. Allowing the boys to place their irresistibly baited traps strategically. We've never actually used oats on any other jobs. Um, so... What we've done is we've put a pile of oats down there and we've let the mice feed away on them. Um, and they've really, really gone to town on these oats. Rather than a chunk of cheddar, these crafty critters are being coaxed out with carbs. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put some traps and we're going to cover them in oats. And then we're going to see... Did I just hear a mouse squeak then? I heard something. I heard something. They're really quite close. They really are quite close. And we are going to get this critter. If it, if it, if it, I either kill it or it kills it's me. Bas it's basically the uh, mice's revenge <laughs> on him for the last ten years, is what it is. Um, so, carry on, mice. Carry on doing your stuff, is what I say. We've never had a problem like this ever in ten years. And it happened to happen at my house. Well, to be honest with you, I'm kind of glad it did, because if this was a customer's house... It would be embarrassing. It really yeah. would be embarrassing. <laughs> to spare any further blushes, the big guns are being rolled out. Let's get some of these guys oh, down. I hate traps. Absolutely <laughs> terrified of now. every style of trap. So those fingers, Honestly. Mark. You know how much I love to watch everything. you. Go terrified out. of traps and terrified of wasps. Terrified <laughs> of heights. <laughs> really don't know why I do this job. So, yeah. Just to let them get confident. One of these goes off, I'm going to absolutely poo my pants, don't you? <laughs> Won't be the first time at this job, Mark. <laughs> Let's face it. Let's get them floorboards back down and uh, see what we get. See okay. what we get. This is going to be the end of my six-week nightmare, my If friend. you say so. With the traps baited and ready, Chris, Mark and Pino can get on with a paying job. <laughs> ready for work, girl? Go on, then. Up, Up you get. get. Actually catching critters and beasts in other people's homes. Got everything we need. Wrap boxes. We've got the lot. We've Let's got go. the lot. You ready? OK. Mm. <laughs> 
rats, cockroaches, and bed bugs. Our warm summers and our central heated winters mean infestations are on the rise. And in a small Midlands terrace... Did I just hear a mouse squeak then? Pest exterminators Chris and Mark have laid a trap for the mice terrorising Chris's own home. Last night, it sounded like they were having a rave down there. Is this a sweet revenge? It is, it is revenge. And moved on to a paying job for regular client, Farmer Sue. Sue! Sue! Hello, boss. Again. I thought you'd probably do for a visit. We are, we are. Despite the feline guard, some rodents simply can't resist the allure of a free farmyard feast. You're lovely, but you're a terrible rat catcher. You talk about predators. I mean, she's supposed to be one, but she's rubbish. This pest control is less than perfect. And with rats carrying parasites as well as a range of deadly diseases like vile salmonella and foot and mouth, they're a risk to both humans and animals, so the boys need to deal with them. I think because the rats have been had such a ample diet, to say the least, with the maize maize over the road, I think that the rats are going to be nearly as big as her, to be honest with you. And we've seen some beasts over here in the years, haven't we? After ten years in the business, Chris is less horse whisperer and more of a rodent recogniser. I'll tell you what, if you look through there, Mark, yeah. it actually looks like there's a trail, look. Oh, yeah. It's been diverted down, yeah, down there, not So I'm thinking, let's go and get the secret weapon. With a nose for rodents and sharp teeth, Pino the Terrier is armed and ready. Go on, get on, Pino. What's in there? What's in there? Where's the rest? Straight down the line, look. What is it? It's in there. In here, Pino. In there. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. In there. In there. She did go straight to that line, didn't she, Chris? Yeah, line like I said. There is it, Pino. OK, Pino, what do we think? Is there any rats in there? I think if there were, she'd have had them darting out all over the place by now. Yeah. Don't you? Yeah, if there was, if there was a rat nest in there, she would have definitely have found it by now. While the location of the rat's nest remains a squeakerate, Signs of the infestation are everywhere. Let's see what we got then. But look at the size of this rat hole here. Can you see where it's chewed all the way through there? So Pino is benched for this game, while the traps are set and primed before the rodents do any more damage. Come on, girl. Let's go get some dindins. Up here, get. Good girl. These controllers Chris and Mark are dealing with another case which is proving a tough nut to crack. Yes, it's like to fix the hole. Across no more squirrels. Let's see what we got then. A scurry of squirrels have made the attic of this house a home, and the rogue rodents have been giving the boys the runaround for weeks as they attempt to evict them. Hello, Dominic. How are you doing? All right to go up? Yeah. I've been having squirrels in my loft for the past five, six weeks now. Okay. Let's see what we got then. Been quite annoying, all squirrelling around, scratching and, and banging, especially when I'm trying to get to sleep. These masters of breaking and entering love to make their homes in attics, and the lads have already set traps on a previous visit. Well, we've got uh, five traps here, I think. One, two, three, four, five. Um, there's been an ongoing problem here for weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, we've had uh, nearly ten squirrels out of this loft, I think, over the past few weeks. Uh, they've finally got the hole fixed by the looks of things outside that we've been asking them to do for a while, so that's good. Uh, but we don't know when they did that, so there could be squirrels in here from before they fixed the hole, basically. So that's what we're going to have a look, look, look at this now. damage over here. Yeah, the damage they do, yeah. Look at all this. <laughs> squirrels have four front teeth, which grow continuously up to six inches a year. So to keep them worn down, they gnaw on everything from wood to electric cables. As you can see, this problem's been going on for quite a while because we've got a mummified squirrel here. Uh, what a beautiful thing that is. Yeah, I wonder if he was chewing some wires at some point. Squirrels are one of the top causes of power cuts in the UK, not to mention the damage they can do to the structure of buildings. What we got? Oh! So... I think there may be a squirrel in there. Ready? Yeah. One, two, three. There ah. we go. So, happy customer now, fingers crossed. Well, hopefully that's the last one now they've sealed up them holes. Well, it's the last time we're going to see this place. Hopefully forever. <laughs> I can
in the Midlands, pest exterminators Mark and Chris have something much worse in mind for the subject of their investigations. As they return to the scene of the rat infestation to check their traps. Yes, what have we got then? Well, that's, one of these has gone out of here, isn't it? <laughs> oh, we've got something in here. I'm guessing field mouse, probably. Oh, yeah. Yeah, one field mouse. He didn't know much about that, did he? <laughs> Bless. It's supposed to be for rats, Mr. Field Mouse. Where else are we going? Over here. Only despite being a pro with more than 10 years on the job, Chris isn't quite as comfortable with things as you'd expect. Something rather large. I can literally smell a rat. Oh, go on, have a waft. Have a waft. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Wow, look, look at the, the size of that. So we don't have a close-up smell? Oh, man. <laughs> You're right oh, there. That's horrible. There's a bucket there. Yeah. All right, let's get him out. You can do that. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's because I'm downwind of it, maybe. Rat's urine has a pungent ammonia odour. No way, man. <laughs> I think you're in the wrong job, mate. When people have them dying underneath their floors, man. <laughs> Do you mind? I'm trying to concentrate here. Oh, my God. Monstrous. That's it. There we go. You got him? There we go. Oh, God. Give the trap. Let's get this out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> Look at the size of that. He's off again. And as for a dead one, well, there's a reason behind the saying, you can smell a rat. He's chickened out, so down to me to get rid of this. See you later, Mr. Rat. With one rat destined for the incinerator, Chris and Mark will be back to check their traps on a regular basis. I'll put him under Chris's pillow tonight. But before they can think about sleep, there's one last job of the day back at Chris's house. I hate that mouse. <laughs> I love that mouse. I'm in cahoots with the mouse. To make it wouldn't surprise me. It would not surprise me. There are several species of mice in the UK, each with their own unique set of behaviours. <laughs> <laughs> And what have we got? So it's crucial to catch and identify one before you catch them all. Well, he's absolutely covered in tracking dust. The tracking dust is used to help identify the routes the mice are using around the property, making it easier to set traps for them. Like a psychedelic mouse. Definitely a house mouse, isn't it? Yeah. In fact, he's even got oats in his mouth lock. With the mysterious mice ID'd as a common house mouse, the boys have finally got the upper hand. Right, so now we know what we're doing now. So, six weeks. Six weeks, bloody weeks. a long way to go, Chris, because that's not going to be the only one. The average mouse nest can be home to up to 24 young ones, so where there's one, there's usually dozens more. No, it's going to be one of many, isn't it? So, now we can uh, think about getting rid of this problem for good, now we know what we're dealing with, eh? I wonder how many there's going to be. Hmm. <laughs> oh, well, good job, good job. Chris may have won the battle, but there's a long way to go in this war of the rodents. Job done, mate. Mission accomplished. <laughs> Mission accomplished. Stourbridge in the West Midlands. It's the strong-stomached Chris. I can literally smell a rat. Oh, jeez. Go on, have a waft. Oh, my God. And his ex-Terminator partner, Mark. He's basically the uh, mice's revenge <laughs> on him for the last ten years, is what it is. Who fight the daily war on bugs, pests, vermin, and all manner of terrifying creepy crawlies. Sure is giving me the heebie-jeebies. And today, they're off to face one of their most fearsome enemies. So what's on our uh, list of horribleness today to deal with, Mark? We've got a day of... Day of bugs, I think, dude. Chris and Mark's first job is to a family home to deal with an invader normally associated with a tropical holiday. Cockroaches. Ten years ago, when I, when I started doing this, it was like bed bug jobs and cockroach jobs. That was such a rarity. And now... I mean, we, we've got to do two a week, haven't we, of each? Their incredible sense of smell allows cockroaches to sniff out even the tiniest amount of festering filth in our homes, making kitchens and bathrooms a firm favourite. It's very important to cover up with cockroaches. The eggs are actually sticky. Yep, ready to go. Born ready, mate. Born ready. Their first task is to assess the unwanted invasion. 
Right, coming in? Yes, sir. And they don't have to look far. Let's have a look at this bag that's been sat here, because I can see one running around on it there. Oh, God. Here's a medium-sized one. Oh, God, look at that. That is unbelievable. You can see the little baby ones. We've got males, females. So this is a little sports bag you wouldn't want to take to school with you. The social stigma of infestations frequently means homeowners call for help after the critters have become well established. Should we just have a quick look behind this picture, see if they're hiding behind they, there? They do all. like any nook or cranny. Oh, oh yep, yeah, all oh, over the wall. Look at them running all over the walls up here. Right, yeah, I think we definitely need to have a good look around the whole house, mate. Right? See where they're hiding in here. On the surface, the bedroom looks clear. Let's have a look around in here, then, eh? But with 13 years bug-busting between them, Mark and Chris know just where these sneaky critters like to hide. Maybe they're in the cupboards. Okay. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, crawling along the ceiling there, look. Wow. That's unbelievable, isn't it? I don't know why I'm stood underneath it talking. <laughs> with your mouth open. With your mouth open, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Potential carriers of disease, cockroaches have been on the planet for around 300 million years, developing a range of survival techniques. Cockroaches are pretty omnivorous. They will eat absolutely pretty much anything that you put in front of them. If you can think of something absolutely rancid, it's like a packed lunch for them, and they will demolish it. I believe they eat things like soap and toothpaste. <laughs> yeah, I've heard that, yeah. Mm. Easy to please at the dinner table, they can even live for days with their heads cut off. Basically, they're hard as nails. And to get rid of this lot, Chris and Mark need a better picture of exactly what they're dealing with. So they set some traps. So these are basically uh, sticky traps for cockroaches. They contain a, a lure, an attractant on there. They'll be back in a few days, but for now, it's on to the next job. Year old girl, fresh out of school, are going to do that. Shut that door. Shut that door, Deirdre. <laughs> While most of us with a phobia can avoid the trigger, among the ranks of grime fighters, trick is just to get down here quickly, get it done, and go. And have a go, waste heroes. I don't care if it hurts, pick it up. There's a special kind of fearless waste warrior. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. The exterminators who take on the bugs, pests, and vermin few of us can stomach. I absolutely hate cockroaches. And today in Stourbridge, near Birmingham, Chris and Mark are about to face a bed bug infestation. Ready to go and investigate. Bed bugs be gone. Bed bugs hitchhike on people, clothing, bags, and furniture. And once they're in, they can infest almost anything they come into contact with. So we're just looking for any signs of active bed bugs here really or any eggs uh, the eggs are basically little white little white things that sort of tend to stand up on end almost in the front room of this family dwelling the pesky critters have certainly made themselves at home looking along here we've got lots of the little eggs there's a little adult there oh and another one bigger one they're both alive it makes you itch doesn't it Bed bug infestations are a worldwide problem and are notoriously difficult to handle. With their ability to remain dormant for up to a year without feeding, as soon as they sense a source of human blood, they wake up. Yeah, it's quite annoying that they're so secretive and hidden away. Chris and Mark need incredible attention to detail to find their hiding spots. So if you look here, all down this crease here... Oh, there's loads of eggs as loads well. Loads of eggs. With females laying more than 200 eggs in one life cycle, another way to trace them is looking for the rust-coloured digested blood in their faeces. Uh, I'll go have a check on the other curtain. There's a load of eggs there, look. See that last crease? They've been living up here for uh, quite a while. It sure is giving me the heebie-jeebies. The main problem's in here, obviously, isn't it? Yeah. But initially what we'll do is we'll do a, a knockdown spray in here and upstairs just to hopefully bring the numbers down by a hell of a lot. With eggs taking six to ten days to hatch, Mark and Chris need to act fast. What we're going to do is use some dye grain C40 WP. We're going to use two sachets of the stuff here. Their weapon of choice is a specialist insecticide containing 40% cypermethrin. 
which can be toxic if breathed in. Basically, we're going to mix this stuff up with the water. Let's get maxed up and ready to go, then. Armour on, the battle with the bedbugs is about to begin. The most important thing when spraying is to do a really thorough job. Killing on contact, Chris and Mark blast the entire house. Any nooks and crannies behind all these paintings and places like that, anywhere that the bedbugs are going to walk. The treatment will take six hours to dry. And only then is it safe for the homeowner to return to hoover up the mortalities. Oh, another job done. Sorted. Fingers crossed. I'll whack them all. With a bit of luck. Only one facing down her nerves. Back in Stourbridge, the West Midland Verminators are about to do battle with Chris's nemesis. We have to fight our fears, and I fight mine every single day. The master of breaking and entering, disease-carrying, Rats. I can't stand rats. I think they're absolutely disgusting. Mark has them as pets. I don't know how he deals with that, to be honest with you, because to me, a rat is a rat. OK, then. OK, OK. They visited this renovation property once before. Let's have a look at what we've got. Then. Well, already there's a hell of a lot more rat droppings than there were last week. With the aim of investigating just how the rats have broken in and made themselves at home. This is all new. In fact, where's that come from, then? Ah. Locating and denying access points is a key task for pest controllers. And Detective Chris immediately hones in on a trail of clues disguised as crumbs. Looks like the rats have been chewing at that, look. We know they're getting into this cavity wall. So how are they getting in the cavity wall, we ask ourselves. I mean, look at the size of some of these droppings. My God. Well, this hole definitely, definitely looks like it's got bigger since last week. Yeah. That, that wasn't as big. Last week, there was that hole. There wasn't that hole. That's new. We already know there are rats here. We've got droppings pretty much everywhere. The fact that we've seen the holes in the floor and the hole in the wall where the insulation's come from, the customers have been hearing things in this wall, it's a very good sign for us that it's going to be a sewerage problem. Sounds elementary. But is Chris's rat theory accurate? Time for a bit of modern day tech, a sewer cam to check for the ratus operandi. We've got our first joint coming up here. Let's have a look. So that could be gravel. Let's see if we can keep pushing well, through. These shouldn't really, really be in there because really all that should be going down there is water and poo. Uh, <laughs> and the occasional rat maybe. Yeah, sometimes we get to a point where they're that full of rubble or fat and the camera just simply can't get through it. Uh, and there's not a fat lot we can do. <laughs> not a fat lot. Uh, there are around 300,000 sewer blockages a year in the UK and many are caused by a build-up of fat, oil and grease. An expensive nightmare for the water companies but an opportunity for the contortionist rat. Let's have a look. So there's a problem there. We can see this pipe again has dropped. So there's a gap there. And rats will get through that quite easily. And with an estimated 120 million rats, double the UK's population, roaming our sewers, they often have more than one point of entry. Ooh, nice sanitary towels to start with. Lovely. So the lads need to explore every gully, pipe and manhole cover. OK, so let's have a look. Camera going in. Oh, look. Ah, there we go. So we've got a really big gap around that one. That, that's easily big enough for an adult rat to get through. Um, as a rule of thumb, if your thumb can get in it, so can a foot long rat. So that looks big enough to me. We've uh, seen what could be three or four issues, all of which could be solved quite easily by fitting one of those one way rat flaps in that pipe there. Well, basically, a rat flap is kind of a stainless steel version of, say, Say a cat flap. So where the rats have been coming, they won't be coming no more. And that looks like another mystery solved. Another customer happy. While the Stourbridge Verminators successfully closed the door on one rat problem. Back in Stourbridge, the West Midlands fearless pest duo Chris and Mark. Look at all those footprints down there. <laughs> is it uh, just because it's my house? Is this a sweet revenge? This is, this is revenge have been investigating rats' modes of entry. Ah, there we go. That's not right at all, is it? 
So we've got a really big gap. That's easily big enough for an adult rat to get through. And eradicating bed bugs. Well, the job done. Sorted. Fingers crossed. I'll whack them all. But today, they're returning to a filthy job, unlike any other they've encountered before. So, uh, we're off to the cockroach job now that we went to the other day. Hopefully, we'll have a few beasties in the traps. Called in to investigate a suspected cockroach infestation, Chris and Mark left a set of traps on their last visit to this rented property. Right, I've got one down here. One up here. Oh, yes. Oh, there's tons of babies all over this one. That's just in the space of a few days. Laced with their own secret recipe, their sticky traps seem to have gone down well with these critters. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, look at Absolutely them. loads. With every egg producing around 30 youngsters, their ability to rapidly spread horrifies many homeowners. There's quite a few egg cases dotted around. You can see all the baby ones, mm. so it wouldn't surprise me if they've hatched out while they've been on there and they've got stuck straight on the glue board. And this infestation isn't confined to the kitchen alone. Can I have a look upstairs? I think so. The tenant has mentioned to us that he's moved one of our traps upstairs because it's so bad up here. This one down here, Chris? Can't be worse than the kitchen. No way. That's you want a bit? Oh, Christ. So that's been up here three or four God. days. Oh, my God. This is a lot, lot worse than what we thought it was going to be. It really is a bad infestation, this one. Uh, they've even got them upstairs. Never really seen that in ten years. The, this has got out of hand. It's, going it's to a be major a job. Major job this has yeah. turned into now. Absolute major. Cockroaches tend to prefer dark, moist places near a food source to hide and breed. But an extreme case like this... I'd say we've got a good few thousand just in these traps alone. Yeah. Demands drastic action. Time to come in with the big guns on this one. We're going to have to treat the whole house. All right. So we need the masks, insecticide. Thank you. Grab the spray. Let's go get them then. Right. OK. Every inch of every wall and the hidden corners of every bit of furniture will need coating with a specialist insecticide that's deadly on contact. And underneath as well, Mark, don't forget. Yeah, all those little hidey holes. After 30 minutes, the entire house has been treated and the cockroach's reign of terror is all but over. Well, job done. Fingers oh. crossed, three weeks' time they'll be cockroach free, eh? But true to form, there's always one trying to hitch a ride to pastures new. Hopefully, ah, we've literally got one under there. Good. Throw it back in the house. Rats, bedbugs and cockroaches might be the extreme end of filthy finds.